Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is another day of spring seeding 2022 on our Montana farm. Oh! <laughs> Barely. Yeah. It just did it across the top. Yeah. We've got a shank broken. Do I? Yeah. Where? In the middle. giving me more room to turn around here is basically what I'm doing. These things are big. Yeah, so you, two passes isn't hardly right. enough. And so, you know, when you get on doing your own thing, it'll paint you out. But we have to reset this, because it's set east and west. So we gotta figure that out, wherever I decide to split this. Okay, so it's a really small field, so it's pretty much all turns and putting the plow in and out. And you see how Darcy goes and that line goes up and around? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. This is the close head, so I'm putting it in now. Get this thing oh, in gear. Start it out in seven this time, just for fun. Okay, we wanna put our plow in before we come up to this edge here. Okay, when you got these angled things, Kate, the reason we did three passes was to give us plenty of room to turn around. Because you gotta let this plow stay in until the far end of this. Not be getting brain dead. Whoa, what do you think happened? Oh, I hit the wrong lever, so we gotta go back and catch it again. The two sides of the wings started folding up. Back in gear. Okay, we're gonna pick this plow up and not seed this twice. So. You gotta be careful about what buttons you're pushing. Sometimes it's nice to put the cover over the hydraulics so you don't push the wrong one. Right. But you got to keep checking your fan always. You know, this is something you're looking at all the time. And seed rate. And then go to look at the plow when it's running its own pass. So if you're lucky enough to have the hose that come off be on the ends, you can see it. Otherwise, you can't. Okay, the plow would be just lifted up now. So you got to let it carry out a little bit. And it carries out a little bit when you turn for a minute. Okay, I know where the edge of this pass is, so I'm gonna drift over here before I dump in the autopilot and guide it. Okay, as soon as this plow comes around, I'll put it in the dirt. Okay, you should get your numbers, then check your plow again. Check to make sure that this thing's on. It doesn't seem to wanna set right if you don't do it that way, you know? So I just click it down, click it up, okay? That's this odd thing because will, last, during seeding winter, we, you want to make sure it wasn't running. No, the, you make sure this one wasn't running. Because this ain't really running because it's down, you know. It can't, it can't go anywhere. I don't know why, you know. And you might be able to pop it off like this and have it be okay. But, you know, if you touch the upper part of that click anywhere, it's going to, this will quit painting. Did it raise the plow up and not be seeding? I don't know. Well, Uncle Chris said that when it's running, it's like continuously trying to push it further into the ground when it can't go any further. So you want it not running as well. That's well, just you probably said. don't. But if you're not super careful about this, you'll pick it up and you'll have passes you didn't see. Check your numbers every time you turn. Look back, check your plow every time. Because the one time you don't do it. Is the one time it happens. And then when it's run at its own passes, look at your manifold to make sure you don't see any loose hoses on. And you gotta stop, look at each one. Look at the shank, see if you see anything going on with it. Okay, this is the end that you gotta make sure that you clear. And you gotta give it a little extra room because you're coming in on a high side there. So this is the end, you watch come out of the stuff, the shanks. Once you get out, you can lift it up. But you might as well just let it run for a while because this is moving in on you. If you turn too quick, you won't be able to get that other end in. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn now. Okay, I know where this tractor almost needs to be here, but I'm watching this thing too because I don't want to get it wound up. You know, it's gotta back up for you to come into this night. As soon as you got a shot on it, get your guidance going and let it do this. You run that. You can't put these in until that comes clean. Forward, 
Right, otherwise Because this back. is already in the thing. That's why you gotta carry it out. Oh, wow. Right. So you gotta keep watching this all the time. Check your numbers, you know? See that you're painting. You know, make sure it goes down. That's why I left it in. I mean, you can take it out by just bringing it back. But if you touch that click and it quits painting, you know, if, if you have numbers, it's probably seating. But right. this kind of works together somehow, even though they're not the same thing. Anytime you got black going on these, you got flow going or trying to. Yes. This is your first lever, second, third, and that's your fan, which is here. Okay. You want to keep this thing simple. Do it the same every time. Check it every time, because if you don't, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I should have went that way. That's my end. So, anyway, it'll be okay. How long is this drill? 57 or something, and wide. It, Darcy's is 61. Yeah, and you're gonna have gray areas. If it's seated, you know, that's where Darcy went and it did get painted for you, so. Right. I mean, you gotta use some intelligence are we out of the thing? Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay, put your guidance in. Let your thing find its little track that it wants to turn in. Let the drill come straight before you put it in the ground. So leave yourself enough room. But all these fields change, but the way you do them's got to remain the same. Right. Plow out, lift it up. You better get turned here quick because you got to go a long way around. So we just keep an eye on that, keep your corner going, and once you get it, look up here and look for your, where your line's got to be. Get it straightened out a little bit, push the guidance in, okay? You got a little while here, Kate, because this line's moving away from you. This is the end, you got to make sure that you get in in time, because it's the uphill end, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm putting it in. Okay, the seed's running, it's zooming through the hoses, and it might be at the boot. I can't order. believe you only get to do this twice a year. This is so fun. If you click that down again, it doesn't turn that off. You have to tap it back. It's just telling you. It no, should. it does. I it remember. It doesn't. I just did it. Watch, Kate. You can And you can tap it down without clicking it, too, and it'll do it. Like, you don't have to have the click. You can just push it down without it. Okay, okay. See, I told you. Look at your shanks, where the hoses are. Look at the manifolds, that's where all the hoses come from. Look for anything going on that doesn't look right. Look over here to see if you got any weird plow things going on. Are we planting barley here? Yeah. Okay, we're out of the thing and we're square. So, oh, no. Lift it up. <laughs> I'm covering this deal up. It's too easy to get the wrong one. You keep pressing the wrong one. Yeah, well, let me tell you what, Kate. Why do you think I'm here? I'm I've been doing this doing for about three hours. I'm sure you will. Okay, get your guidance in out here. Give yourself enough room for the wheat to get to the manifold or the pods or whatever. Press it. They're in the dirt, the seed's moving. That should be okay, that one. Okay, you got a lot of action in a steep edge here. So as soon as you're out of this, get this up. Okay, we're out, get it up. Now look at how close you are, okay. I'm not gonna try and turn into that and drop this. No. So you're gonna teardrop this, right? Come back in underneath it. Cause there wasn't enough room to turn this drill around there really. Because I cut this corner short, I didn't bring it up enough. When I did around here, cause I went, I left this hole the same. And so there wasn't three good passes right there. It's pretty close, but not exactly. So I'm coming over here. I want enough room for this thing to get squared up. But I don't want to run my drill off the edge of this cliff in the ditch. That would be very bad. Okay, get your guidance in. Okay, this is going to be the close edge. So we're looking, it's going straight, but sink it. Okay, look for your next deal. Put your hand down on the guidance activator, whatever. Get the tractor on the line straight. Okay, let your tips come forward. Okay, sink the thing. Okay, it's down, you heard it? Yes. Take the hydraulic out, I guess. 
That's why you almost got to have three passes on something with a heavy angle on it, Kate, to give you time to turn on the short end of this. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay, this is barely enough room right here to do this. You want to be careful because you're trying to make that back up uphill. You know what I mean? Right. Look your pods over good now. Okay, get in line, hook your guidance up. Okay, as soon as your guidance, your tips are forward. We're gonna catch there, so we're gonna put this in. Take the power off the hydraulic. Over and over, same thing. Don't get caught not paying attention to what's gonna happen two or three passes from now. Look around. That's why you're one step above the apes. Because if we had good apes that could do this, we wouldn't need you. <laughs> but there's a bunch of stuff going on. Check your numbers. You know, you can't remember all this all the time, but it's way too easy to get daydreaming and not, you know, if you're running mile passes on straight fields, that's different. No, but these ones where you have... These are not like that. Quite a lot of turns. It can be challenging. Get straightened out a little bit so your tractor don't have a bunch of jerking going on to get online. How many acres was this? This wasn't too big. 50 some, I don't know. Darcy, you're going to have enough to do a lap on the other field? I'm not sure I'm going to get out right now and check it out. I did 197 acres, so I imagine it did pretty low. This is close here, Kate. Too, you probably should not cut things that close. What was the second hydraulic core that you were using? I wasn't using this. It's the wings. And I wasn't trying to use it. I just got my finger on the wrong one. <laughs> don't laugh, Kate. You're going to be doing a bunch of stupid. And if you don't do what I told you, I'm going to be very upset. Because you're probably going to do something to these. You don't know. These are the only ones we got of these. No, it's super critical that they both stay working. Yes that you don't do anything to them. I'll probably only have enough for one or two more passes here. So you're not going to be able to finish this? I'm, I'm at the bottom of my tank. I'm not sure, but I don't think I'm only going to make one or two more passes. Well, maybe you ought to just head up there. I'm kind of screwed into this thing here. And then um, I'll just go up to the corner and come back in. Yeah, that's what I do, and I'll just finish that. So I'm about to hop in the tractor with Dad. I've got my Kate's Egg tote bag, which can be found on k-a-t-e-s-a-g.com. Nothing will probably grow here anyway, but that's besides the point. You think it's that bad? It ain't rained in months and months, Kate. It ain't rained since last fall. We haven't even had a good winter of snow. Grandpa said the winter rain's looking kind of rough. It's more than rough. Okay, we're not going to bomb off of this at eight, so you don't want any sort of extra exertion on them like this is going to be. When you get up here, you're going to want to watch your drill come off if you can. You're going to go over to the other side, right? Start getting it to go a little sideways here. Okay, when you're rotating this, this thing has a tendency to settle when it's on the fold it up. So you'll just pull it back a little bit, you know what I mean, to make sure. And if the trip's long, you'll do that every five, ten minutes going down the road. Just to make sure your packers hasn't settled onto the pavement, you know what I mean? Right. Think about what you're, where you're putting your hands, what levers you're pulling. These are the dinosaurs of the farm, you know, they are the biggest, easiest to wreck things with. You know, you need them to work need to check your numbers, you know, all that other stuff. Really the most important part of the operation if you don't seed the crop. Well, everything is, yeah, you know, is pretty important. Okay, and you want to watch out for these low wire sets too, especially in Darcy's drill because his drill's taller. We're going to sneak a little bit over to this side, try and catch the high side of this, you see what I mean? Not hang out over there. Actually, I should have went through there. That is but that's long. risky too. Darcy did go through there, see? Oh see? yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> barely. Yeah, 
Yeah. It just get it across the top. Yeah. Lucky. But if it would have been Darcy's drill, I wouldn't have made it. Yikes. So that just tells you if we go back this way, you got to go around that thing. But that's hard to do too, Kate, because this thing's really long. That would have been a catastrophe. You can't back it up. You can't make mistakes with these. Are we filling two? We will, but I'm going to uh, make one round here. You don't want to bomb through that hole there with this drill. Now it's the time you take a look at the things you can see. And then when you start new fields, you always spin the thing a little bit. You go look and make sure you got seed coming out of all your boots. So you don't see 10 fields with broken hoses or plugged up boots. Are we going to spool them now? Yeah. Not very much, but just a little bit. So as you can see, the barley seed and the fertilizer are coming out of the boot. So this one's good, so are all of these. Oh, we've got a shank broken. We've got a shank broken. Do I? Yeah. Where? In the middle. Oh, yeah. Yikes. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to fix that. That's not good at all. No, we have to fix it. So I gotta get in there and put it up on something. Do you have to weld it back together or? No, we... we we got to go get a new one, or one that we had rebuilt. How do they usually break off? Just like that. So it broke off right here. As you can see, this is how they're attached. Go get that uh, ratchet thingy from Austin. All right. right. I need your ratchet for the, a shank broke off. Okay, thank you. Oh, here it is. That looks heavy. Oh my gosh, that's really heavy. Way heavier than I had expected. So do, can you get those from John Deere? Uh, there's probably one at the house. I don't know where to look. That's interesting. So you have to unscrew the bolts and then remount one, the new one back in? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, right. Where do I put these? Um, I'm going to need them to put it back. Would you say that usually happens? Not very frequently. It just depends on how hard the ground is. If there's rocks, it just happens. And the ground's really dry right now, so could that have been a contributor? Probably. What did you find in the field, Dad? It's an old pickup guard. It goes on the front of your combine. It scrapes up all the laying down wheat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why don't we use those anymore? So we don't use them because they scrape up rocks and they're miserable. That's what Dad said. So we ended up having an extra shank at the farm, which was super lucky. And we put that new one on. So we're good to go seeding again, which is just awesome. We just finished for the day and I'm about to head home. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn a little bit more about how your food gets to your table. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G and on TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. Or you can visit the Kate's Egg website, www.katesag.com, and see my wonderful Kate's Egg tote bag. Thank you again for watching. Bye! <laughs>